Hey, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to become zip code experts because one of the most important things as a real estate investor is to know your buy box and know your zip code really, really well so that you can understand your yield, your average yield and what the cash flow is. So here we go. Every day you got to do your work. It requires daily focus, daily discipline here. So Here's my buy box, here you go. This property just came out. So I select it and the first thing I do is I take a look at the condition of the house. So here we go, I'll probably usually spend more time on it, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go very fast. Definitely needs uh, new carpets, new flooring. And then this room does not look so good. So I'm gonna give this a B minus. And then I'm gonna go to my spreadsheet here, which is really nice. Uh, I got the inspiration from the ORAT community, but I actually made it my own here, calling it Zip Code Experts, where we do your work. Uh, gives you the average yield, all the, it's just a high view, executive summary view of all your properties, the yield, monthly cash flow, yearly cash flow, little arrow to denote which one that I need to focus on here. Um, so here we go. This one, this property is 874 Sumac Plaza. So I write down uh, the address there. I'll put the uh, square fo footage of the house, bedroom. And then this is the part that I really, I added that I thought it was very important, which is the listing date and how many days on market. For example, this property on top, was listed on September 3rd so it shows me there's it's been on the market for 27 days and so that's very very handy for me just to have it in one spot so it's there next thing is the purchase price of the home this one is 780 so I'll write it there and then it naturally calculates the uh, down payment which this is at 5% which I'm gonna yeah, I guess, which is fine. Put it and leave it at 5%. And then uh, you could put any repair costs there. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to probably put, let's say, 15000 in there. And then it calculates the closing costs and the total cash right there. And the next thing I want to add is the mortgage payment, which it calculates here. Uh, I'm going to assume a 6.5% 6, 6 uh, interest rate. And then here it's a uh, insurance and tax, 15% as well. Par property management, uh, obviously, as you guys know, is 8 to 10%. I just wrote 8% 8 8 there. And then um, expenses, vacancy, also 8%, which gives me a total expense of 59.49. Now, the next thing I need to find is the monthly rent. Now, sometimes on Zillow, if you scroll down, I don't know if it's going to have it here. It sometimes gives you the rent. But in this case, I don't think it's going to show up here. Oh, here it is. Uh, rental earnings. Estimate 40, 46 per month based on... Uh, comparable rental so 40 46 put it right there which kind of makes sense and then it calculates the monthly cash flow uh, negative 1590 so it's definitely an alligator so we're there we're going to pass on this for sure and you're the cash flow and then yield of ne negative 22 percent now what is very important so that's how you do this very quickly um, and you do it every day depending on what houses show up in your buy box so it may take 10 to 15 minutes to 30 minutes a day. And then the most important thing is as you do this every single day, you're going to understand your average yield. So it's which is this column right here. Um, and so what I did, because I didn't want to do this work of highlighting it. And then on Excel down here, it gives you the average, which is negative 6%. So I made this nice yield report here where it calculates this kind of automatically as I add more properties every single day so it's going to show me here 
So this is where I look at every day. I said negative 6% yield. And then I look at what is a good deal versus a great deal. So great deal is going to be anything above that. Obviously, this is negative 6%. So it's kind of uh, not a great example. But um, I this is a sample housing thing I did here. So let's say, for example, this one was real. This is a 20% yield. This green arrow will highlight for me. Wow, it's I'm going to make 2272 uh, monthly cash flow obviously this is fake so sample data but that's what I'll do and then I'm gonna really get on this give uh, a, a disrespectful offer and see if I could um, get a deal there and then I just and it keeps adding here so this is how you calculate your yield and do your work and um, and find out what property to put an offer in. All right, thanks so much.